as a BB. Yeah. Okay. And then he would take these pellets, and with his finger, he'd put it on the end of the uh, the, the needle, the, the regular needle you use for rolling. Then you heat it over the lamp for just a couple of seconds, and then you'd stick it into the pipe, seat it into the pipe, mm. and pull it out. And by doing this, he was able to vaporize raw. It's the same way that, like, like uh, uh, these these tribals you see tribal smoking raw, and that's they do pretty much the same thing. Only they smoke like big giant. You see them smoking raw. It's like big old huge pills of the stuff, like not, not, not even pills, it's big wads, basically, they just stick on there with their fingers, you see them like rolling with their fingers, right, stick on there with their fingers and they'll put a hole through it, and then they'll smoke it, right, but you can't do this with Chengdu, Chengdu you cannot touch with your fingers, it's just mm. impossible, you've got to use the needle for everything, uh, uh, one needle, if it's liquid Chengdu, two if it's solid. Like if it's solid Chengdu, you before you can even before you can before you can put it on the before you can start rolling it, you've got to do what they call knitting, and that's you you aerate the uh, the, the you aerate the, the Chengdu by holding it over the lamp with two different uh, with, with with two needles, and you kind of like you look like you're knitting basically. You go around like this, and it causes the Chengdu to go from like this really dark brownish red color uh, to like a, it starts turning blonde as it gets full of like like air bubbles and stuff and and so you you you, you aerate it in that way and then you take and then you take off a piece and then you roll it and essentially what you're doing is you're rolling those bubbles out of it that you just put into it that you roll the bubbles out of it making it solid as possible so that you can you can yeah, you can you can Put it in, if, if it's not solid, it's not going to vaporize right. You know what I mean? It's got to be, it's got to be, you can't have any bubbles in it. Have, so, you, have you thought about writing a manual? No. <laughs> Do no. they exist? There's a guy that wrote one, this other American guy, uh, the, the, the guy I told you about, I think, this guy, uh, his name's Dan Reed. He, he writes under a pseudonym and, and a fake bio. He calls himself Peter Lee and he says he's Chinese. This this book called uh, I can't remember what it's called something like uh, the art and tradition of Chinese opium smoking or something like that. It's available on Amazon. That's a how-to book. Now uh, uh, and he got pictures of shit, you know, yeah. uh, all kinds of pictures showing steps. So uh, uh, if somebody wanted to to have a how-to book. That's that's the book to use. Although, like some of the things he says, I think is completely bullshit. And, and making Chengdu, like uh, there's one step in his uh, list of steps to make Chengdu is just completely fucking wrong. And if you follow it like he does, and he says to do it, you'll be fucked. But uh, I mean, no reason why. Like uh, everybody who smokes, we all know this, right? It's like, what the fuck's he doing? Yeah. You can't figure it out. It's, it's probably just a mistake he made, and then like just never fixed it or something. I don't know what. But yeah.